For many conditions, we are now ordering genetic DNA tests to make diagnosis and see if the condition is hereditary. The technology used to identify the genetic cause of any condition has improved. We are now able to mass screen lots of genes in one experiment. These tests are now much more sensitive. This means that diagnosis is reached in more people than ever before. However, it also means that we pick up normal, harmless genetic variation. Sometimes it can be difficult to tell whether a variation is harmful or harmless. The mass screening of genes is called next generation sequencing, known as NGS. What does NGS genetic testing involve? It involves looking really closely at our DNA. Our DNA code is made up of four letters known as A's, C's, G's and T's in different sequences. Our genetic blueprint contains a large length of DNA, a small proportion of which are genes. Our genes control how we function day to day. When the DNA letters are mixed up, the gene may stop functioning. Each human's DNA code varies slightly. Most variation does not cause any problem. This is part of normal evolution and is constantly occurring. However, sometimes variation can cause disease. For the majority of DNA variation, the scientists can tell whether the variation is harmful or not. When does a variation cause a problem? What are the rules of thumb? If a variation occurs within a gene, rather than in other parts of the DNA code, it's more likely to be harmful. If a new variation in a gene occurs in a patient that is not present in either of their parents, then it is more likely to be harmful. Some types of variations are more damaging than others. Occasionally scientists find a variation in a gene and it is unclear if it is harmful or harmless. This is called a variant of unknown significance, known as a VU. When the test results aren't clear, this can be frustrating for the patient, as something is highlighted in the DNA test, but no one knows whether it is relevant or not. Sometimes the NGS testing helps make a diagnosis, sometimes it doesn't, and sometimes it's a maybe. Genetic testing is a really powerful tool in helping diagnosis, but it is early days in this field and scientists are still on a learning curve. We don't have all the answers yet, but are working together to improve our knowledge.